Uh, Jonesy, you came back into the starting lineup for the win over Amp Till. How good was it for you to be back out there in the uh, 13 shirt? Yeah, loved it. Um, every rugby player wants to play. Uh, come the weekend, you put in the hours in the week and to see it come off individually and collectively is a bonus. 77 point victory against Amp Till. Uh, how much of a boost has that given the squad? Yeah, it creates momentum. Um, any win like that, particularly at home, um, can just create form and I think the challenge now is to take that form from the home pitch to an away pitch. Yeah, what was the most pleasing part of that victory? Was it kind of the uh, ruthless nature of the attack, kind of taking the chances when they arise? Yeah, definitely. We've, we spoke about that in the week. The uh, attacking game uh, was on point, but we've also looked at uh, defensive areas of our game and probably can be a bit disappointed with conceding a few of those tries. Um, we've definitely addressed that. Um, Scottish away this Friday night, local derby. How big a test are we expecting? A uh, big one, yeah. Uh, we've had some, some good ding-dongs with them over the years. Uh, being a London derby, it's always a tight affair. Um, normally the pitch is a bit of a leveller. Um, but we're going there with our game plan in mind and we're going to look to implement it. Yeah, the fact it's a derby, of course, adds a bit of an edge to it. What are, uh, what are their main dangers? Um, well, it's with anything, uh, particularly in a London derby, it's just winning the edge, winning that first 20 minutes, I think. Um, just making sure that you get on top and stay on top, um, and then just keeping it. Yeah, heading into this game, I've kind of in good, good form with a couple of wins behind us. Is, this, is we in the kind of form where you just want to keep playing and kind of get, the, get those games coming thick and fast? Yeah, definitely. You want to find like your flow, you want to get into your form, you want to uh, get as many minutes on the pitch for individually, and then uh, that comes as builds into the collective, I think. Um, personally, you've kind of had to say, stay patient this season, but you've got your opportunity now. Are you kind of looking to nail down a place in the team for the next few months? Yeah, as I said earlier, I think every rugby player, you trip, put the hours in the week to play on a weekend, and when you don't, you don't get it. It's disappointing, but now you've got the opportunity, it's, it's down to the individual to, to keep hold of the shirt and, and just make sure you're leaving it a better place than it was when you got it. Yeah, kind of defensively it was always one of your strong points, but against Amptill a fair few kind of attacking opportunities in those wide channels. Is that an area you've been kind of working on the creativity side of it? Yeah, I think so. I think this pitch allows you to do that. Yeah. Um, I think when you play on a pitch as wide as this, you can throw the ball about and we get good joy for doing that. Um, but as I said, the challenge is now is, is focusing on those defensive lapses that we had against Amptill and and making sure that we're secure at the back. Yeah, we mentioned the kind of start to the year, a derby win tomorrow night. Would that kind of make it the perfect start to 2020 with three wins from three in January? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think it's not always about putting as many points on the board, particularly a London derby. It's about gritting out those wins, particularly in these January, February months. And I think if we can put in the hard yards tomorrow, we'll come out with everything we want and more.